At this point in the history of the internet, the World Wide Web has really established itself as one of the primary, if not the primary way that we explore the internet. Most of you are highly familiar with visiting websites, using search engines and things like this. But it wasn't always this way. In fact, in the early days of the internet, there were a variety of different protocols that people used to find information online um, before the World Wide Web came around. And some of those protocols actually coexisted for a while with the World Wide Web itself. So uh, when I was a kid, somebody gave me this book. I was actually very late to coming to computer science. I really wish I had paid attention when my uncle gave me this fascinating book. Um, this book is called The Internet Roadmap. It's by Bennett Falk, second edition, okay? This book was published in 1994. Um, so this is very, very early. People were discovering the internet, they were starting to go online, and they were looking to guides like this to help them get around. What's interesting is if you look in this book, um, there are uh, chapters on Usenet, there is a chapter on browsing the World Wide Web, um, but that's after a chapter entitled Internet access for the armchair explorer, Gopher. Gopher. What is Gopher? So Gopher was an early protocol that people used to find information online. Gopher is a completely different protocol than HTTP and the World Wide Web. Um, it has uh, runs. Uh, it, it has different naming. Um, has a, the protocol is totally different. There's a, a different documentation for it. Um, and in the early days of the internet, you know, it was a way that people um, looked around and tried to find content online uh, in what they referred to as the Gopher space. So I don't know. It's possible that Gopher uh, lost out to the World Wide Web simply because. You feel a little bit stupid talking about the Gopher space. Um, but anyway, Gopher coexisted with the web for a number of years. And the Gopher space is actually still alive. Um, to get into the Gopher space, you, uh, the easiest way to do it is to install a plugin in your web browser, uh, which is potentially a sign of who won the war between the Gophers and the webs. Um, but if you look here, I've, I, and you actually, there's no plugin for Chrome, so I had to install this for Firefox. Um, if you look up here, where's my, eh, right? Uh, if you look up here in the corner of my browser, you can see that the address that I'm at is not HTTP colon, it's gopher colon slash slash. So I am using the gopher protocol. I am entering the gopher space. Um, I have never done this before. Um, there are still people that are maintaining the gopher space even you know, decades after. I think it's pretty much uh, com been completely abandoned, but there's still content on there. So, so let's just try running a search. Uh, this is sort of how you interact with the gopher space through your browser. Um, so let's look for cats. Um, Okay, so, and, and to some degree you can see like, I, I'm, you know, what I'm doing is like a little, um, a little similar to what I might do on a, in a search engine. Uh, I've, I've launched a search. I don't know why this still says search in progress. I think it's done. Um, it says that I've looked for cats and it returned 30 uh, selectors. So here's something about cats. I'm a little nervous about this. Oh, okay, so this is um, something that somebody posted in 2007, and this is about taking care of cats. So it's, I, f I found almost maybe the equivalent of like a blog post in the gopher space about cats. Um, I don't see, I guess these are HTTP images I would have to see. Um, uh, let's see. This looks like it's an ad. Tastes so good. Cats ask for it by name. I think that's for cat food. Um, cats meow. Dot, I'm, I'm a little bit scared about these file names, but let's just try this. Uh, what, what am I? What is this going to do? Um, okay. I, I guess that resource. I guess this is kind of the equivalent of a page not found error. It says the resource cannot be located. But anyway, so this is you know an interesting sort of blast from the past, right? Uh, and it, it's it's fun to kind of think about the fact that the World Wide Web. At one point, the World Wide Web was new. At one point, the World Wide Web hadn't convinced everybody that it was the right way to find information online. At some point, there was still the gopher space. There were still lots of gophers running around the gopher space. And you can still get in there today.